Welcome to How We Grow, an essential playbook to grow and scale your vacation rental business with advice and insights from the best in the biz with your host, Linnell Gordon. So welcome to How We Grow, the vacation rental show. My name is Linnell Gordon. I'm your host, and I cannot wait to introduce you to Tiffany Hobbs. Tiffany, how long have you been in property management, Tiffany? Finishing out my 15th season in property management. Wow. That's amazing. And I know that one of your strengths, and that's what I want to talk about today, is homeowner acquisition. And I really like to ask you about, well, let's talk just a little bit about your company. So your name is Tiffany Hobbs Wilson, and Tiffany is with Hobbs Realty at Holden Beach. And what do you do for Hobbs? So I'm the COO and broker in charge. So I do some sales stuff as well. But my main job is really to bring on all of our new homeowners. So the acquisition and the onboarding and then retain those relationships. That's one of the biggest things. And it's something that I really enjoy doing, forming those relationships. We are a third generation property management company here. So that's always been important to Hobbs Realty. My father and grandfather started the company. So now my mother, Rochelle, and I are pretty much running the day-to-day operations and they've always built those relationships on great communication and just being the boots on the ground here in Holden Beach. And so I'm trying to carry on that tradition. So let's talk just a little bit about homeowner acquisition. What is the best advice you have for property managers who are looking to grow their inventory by homeowner acquisition? So I think that really understanding what your goal is, what kind of inventory you want, what you're looking to do. Are you trying to fill a gap in the market or is it that you're offering something that's very different? Your product is different. About 20 years ago, we made a decision at Hobbs Realty to purge our company of homes that didn't meet a certain standard. So what we really wanted to do was figure out how to set a standard in an industry that doesn't have a lot of standards. And as far as you know, it's just so different wherever you go and the money that you pay and what you're going to get. And so we wanted our brand to be really recognizable and synonymous with a great experience when you check in from the cleaning to the maintenance, really from the moment that you book the property that everything goes smoothly until you leave and then you want to come back. So that was something that didn't happen overnight. We had to really set goals. It was scary at times because you have to let properties go that aren't going to meet those standards. But then you're starting over the years when it starts working, we were able to really attract homeowners that had the same vision and the same goal. They wanted to offer a certain level of product. And then at that point, we were looking to have a more luxury experience. And now we're able to do that. So Setting those goals that can take years to do, but getting those things in place, I think is really, really important. Tell me about relationships with homeowners. Are there any secrets or anything that you can tell people who are looking to do acquisition that might help them? Definitely. I think that the relationship that I have with a lot of our homeowners, and they really are wonderful There's so many different personalities. You have the people that are more involved and want to have a lot of conversations and will take a little bit more time. But then you also have owners that say, look, just handle it. I'm hands off. And I think distinguishing that, which homeowner that's going to be from the beginning with a series of questions, like what are your goals for the property? How do you want to be involved? Having that open communication early on will help you understand what they want. So then you can set the right expectation as to what you can do and what you can't do. I always love to learn one special fact about a homeowner. Sometimes I learn more, but in the beginning, I like to learn, you know, do they have kids in college or do they enjoy vacationing in Colorado or whatever it is, something special about them so that when I do speak with them, I can bring that up and I can say, oh, you know, how's your son doing at Duke University or whatever? And we kind of can have some common ground to begin a conversation every time that we talk, whatever it's about, we can start on that foot. So I think that's really important. And just setting those expectations early because you don't want to have a homeowner that's going to expect you to call them weekly and that not be something that you can do. Figure out what you can and can't do. So tell me 
What kind of strategies do you have in dealing with difficult homeowners? So, you know, I think that there's a lot of levels of what people want. And it's a really personal thing. These are, you know, here in Holden Beach, we manage around 200 vacation rental properties on the island. So they're expensive properties. Uh, Some of them have been passed down for generations. So they're really special to their owners because they were special to their parents or their grandparents. We also have people that have bought and built in the past few years. And so they've spent a lot of money. The market has been really good. So it seems like you just have to kind of realize that when they are getting upset, when there are these difficult situations, number one, that this is personal to them. So you need to treat the property like you would if it was your own property. And I think just remembering that it's a reciprocal relationship, being able to have a direct and open conversation. Look, you can call me about anything and we're going to talk about it. I just want to remind you that this is a professional reciprocal relationship. We're in this together. We have the same goal. And so when you can kind of take the emotion out of things on your end, and then it's much easier to deal with situations that you feel are difficult. And that's one of my favorite things to do. I love taking a difficult situation and by the end of the call, resolving it, or at least feeling better about the situation and knowing that the other person understands that I care about their problem and that I'm going to do what I can to fix it. Built by property managers for property managers. Streamline is a powerful software that gives managers enterprise level capabilities to drive more revenue and improve operational efficiency. Migrating to Streamline allows property managers to gain functionality while reducing the need for multiple vendors, improving flow by logging into a single system and reducing redundant technology costs. With Streamline, property managers achieve revenue lifts by leveraging our fully fledged communication center, reservations quoting system, revenue management tools, homeowner acquisition CRM, and powerful direct OTA connections. Streamline also has industry-leading trust accounting and report capabilities to give you clarity in an overall company performance. Learn more about Streamline Vacation Rental Software at StreamlineVRS.com. Well, there you go. So if you had any piece of advice for companies that are trying to grow their property management company, I know, because I know your company, I know that you guys actually choose your properties and that you've literally scaled back 50 properties so that you could maximize profitability. Can you explain how that fine line works? Definitely. In our market, what we're looking for, especially with return, we're looking to work. We really like to bring in any home on the island that meets the standard, but the oceanfront homes have the most demand. Those are the homes that you're going to have your most return. So we focus on that. That's most of our inventory. But we also like to have different options for different price ranges, people that are looking to bring a boat. They want to be on a canal. They want to be on the waterway. And so what we've done is we've built a portfolio of all different kinds of properties, but they set the same standard in the sense that you're always going to have the same clean experience. You're always going to have bed linens. You're going to have access to our after-hour staff, our guest services team. If you have a problem, we're going to be down there quickly, like having all of those things in place. And when you're able to do that, when you're able to set a standard and a guest knows that they are going to get XYZ with your company, then you can charge a higher price than your competitors because they're not getting that. And so it's the experience, but it's also the actual experience of walking into the home and saying, oh man, this is clean. The windows are clean. I can see the ocean. You know, those kind of things are really important. And that's what has helped us be able to grow our rental rates and grow our income for our owners by providing that experience. And guests want to come year after year. So tell me, what's the latest, greatest thing that you've been doing that you're doing now at the company? RevMax, for sure. We started (laughs) RevMax. Revenue management. (laughs) Yes. Dynamic pricing. We implemented that in 2023. So we're, we're rounding out our first season and we've had a lot of successes with that. And I don't think I understood it as well when we started back in January, but I've learned, I've learned a lot. And Des and her team are wonderful, but just the data that we get and the things that we can analyze, they've really changed the way that we market. And 
not just to our guests, but to our homeowners. We can show them how they're doing in a much more professional way than we could in the past with different reports and just keeping everyone appraised of the market. Like we're just on top of it using RevMax and LSI Insights, using those hand in hand. And it's been a big game changer for a smaller family owned company like we have putting these things in place. It's changed the way that we do business. That's very cool. Tiffany, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Is there anything else that you want to share? I would say one more thing. One of the biggest things that I did professionally in my business in the past five years was to get involved with the industry events and to go to the Verma Conferences Executive Summit, or if you use a product like Streamline to go to their conferences. And I do try to go as often as I can. And I think that if you're just starting out or you're trying to grow, you need to go make use of that because the access that you have to people that are just so smart and so phenomenal, like yourself, Linnell, and you, you go to these panels and you're listening to these people and you're like, oh my gosh. And they're telling you real relevant information of how they did something, how they deal with this. And it's like for everything from AI to marketing to whatever, they're talking about it. And it really, I've never left a conference and not brought home at least one or two things that I can implement that change the way I do things. So I think that's really important for people who are looking to grow. Well, listen, I really appreciate you sharing with me. And if people have questions about homeowner acquisition or anything else that you've talked about, would you be willing to talk to them and kind of mentor them? Of course, of course. I've brought in about 70 homes in the past two years, two and a half years, and it has been a roller coaster. I would love to talk to someone about it. (laughs) (laughs) Bringing in 70 homes in the last 18 months to two years is a lot of homes, Tiff. It is. It is. I mean, our market just kind of was in a certain position where a competitor sold to Picasa, which we're a smaller beach community and people like the boots on the ground family type company. And just, you know, the sales market, there have been a lot of owner churn and things going on. So, you know, we've lost some homes through that, but we were able to make it up tenfold, you know. Yeah, I know you're turning away homes. Right. Yes. Yes. And that's all been a very good learning process. And I would be happy to share my experience or anything that I could do to help someone in the industry. How would they reach out to you? How could they get you? Tiffany at HobbsRealty.com. That would be the best way. I'm always on my email. Well, thank you, Tiffany. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I enjoyed it. And we'll catch you later with some other questions. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Tiff. This episode of How We Grow was brought to you by Streamline. To find out more about how Streamline can help grow your vacation rental business, visit StreamlineVRS.com. Make sure to search for How We Grow in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, or anywhere else podcasts are found and hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. On behalf of the team here at Inhabit, thanks for listening.